ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Arcane Static. That's me and also the name of the channel. I probably should do something about that at some point. Today we are going to look at a tagging meme that happened last year, which I thought was kind of fun. So we're going to do it. This is the 15 random facts about you meme. The problem with it is they're not really random. People use the word random wrongly, but that's a story for a different time. So here's 15 hand-picked and chosen facts about me. Number one, what's a nickname only your family calls you? I don't have a lot of family left, but my grandmother calls me Sugabadoo for some reason. I still don't know why, um, but she's been doing it since I was like super tiny, like as far back as I can remember. Number two, what's a weird habit of yours? Uh, anything that's even like mildly shaped like a baton, you know, long, thin, heavy, that kind of thing. I I have to spin it over my hand. I, I can't not spin it over the back of my hand. Uh, number three, do you have any weird phobias? I don't know if it counts as weird, but I used to be really screwed up by mirrors. Like, I had to cover up the big mirrors that were in my dormitory when I was in college because I couldn't sleep with them around. Um, it is called catoptrophobia or spectrophobia. Both of them count the same way. Uh, and I had that for a while. I don't now, but I also don't have any huge mirrors. Number four, what's a song that you secretly love to blast and belt out when you're alone? Hey, yeah. hey, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah. what's going on? So I cry sometimes. Number five, what's one of your biggest pet peeves? Okay, so if you've been with me at any time ever, then you know how much I hate it when pedestrians don't walk on the same side of the sidewalk as people drive. Like, I have to ride my bike to work and everything, right? So if I'm riding on the left side of the fucking sidewalk, and then, like, a pedestrian sees me and moves to the right side, which is directly in front of me, it's like, you're dumb. You know how to drive. So why don't you walk the same way? Surely there's no rules that state you know how you drive. You have to do it the opposite way just to piss everyone else off. Fuck those people. Fuck people who don't know how to be pedestrians. Like... People, people on bikes who try to ride their bike through like a really packed crowd, fuck those people. Get off your bike and walk it, because you're not going to go any faster on your bike than you will on foot. You'll probably go faster on foot. If you hit somebody, it's your fault. Well, you, people who don't know how to be pedestrians. Uh, number six, what's one of my nervous habits? So when I'm super nervous, I end up using like really outdated slang like radical and tubular and I'll, I'll, I'll go back even further to like stuff that my great grandfather used to say, uh, like fly by the seat of my pants and that kind of stuff. Uh, it's, it, I don't know. I probably got it from my like super varied different places upbringing and that kind of stuff. But it's weird that it only happens when I'm nervous or like super tired. Uh, number seven, what side of the bed do you sleep on? There's not really a side to that one. Number eight, what was your first stuffed animal and what's it called? As far as I can remember, because I don't have a very good memory of my childhood, the first one that I know about was this sort of like brown and tan sort of spotted dog thing that had like, it was a, a, some synthetic fur crap and it was like, it felt soft, I guess. I think I named it flannel. Or I might have just started using that name after a while or something. Uh, because in my head, when I was super tiny, I knew that flannel was a material that was soft, so I thought that flannel was the adjective that you use for things that were soft. Number nine, what's a drink that you always order at Starbucks? I'm pretty boring. I either get like a chai tea latte or an Earl Grey tea latte. Uh, number 10, what is one rule that you preach but never actually practice? This one is a little bit of a personal thing, but like I constantly tell people, like my mother has this problem, so do I, uh, but I constantly tell people that other people aren't their responsibility, that 
it doesn't, you don't need to take care of other people, that other people's problems aren't your problems, and that if you don't want to be doing a thing, then you should just stop doing it. Like, especially if it's, like, mentally exhausting, or it's, like, causing you damage or something like that, you should just stop, because your one number one priority should be yourself. Unfortunately, I cannot keep that rule myself even a little bit. I take on other people's problems like nobody's business, man. I have no problem helping other people, but like, part of that helping other people is when I see other people trying to be helpful and then it doesn't work, it's like, you're not helping them the way that you need to be helping them if you're gonna help them. If you want to help somebody, sometimes you have to let them fuck up. But I can't do that. I can't do it myself. I give myself very good advice, but I very seldom follow it. Number 11, which way do you face in the shower? Number 12, do you have any weird body skills? It doesn't really count as a body skill, but I have what is called uh, ankyloglossia. It's, it's the tongue tie, where your the front of your tongue is, is connected by that string that goes under the tongue way further up in front than most other people. I wonder if I can get it on camera. Mm. Number 13, what is your favorite comfort food? I don't have a comfort food, but if I'm stressed out or angry or have just played a bunch of fucking Super Mario 64 Chaos Edition, I tend to have a cup of tea. Number 14, what is a phrase or exclamation you always say? Aside from, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to, and uh, I'll see you next time. I say a lot of, but yeah, or you know, it's good. Number 15, time to sleep. What are you actually wearing? Well, either, or, so ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. I hope that you liked this video, getting a little bit of an insight into me a little bit more, and I don't know if that was interesting or not. But anyway, uh, if you like this video, please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. You can also check my socials, that's the Facebook and Twitter, down in the description box. You can maybe take a look at my Patreon link as well, if that's something that you want to do. I would super appreciate it. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you next time.